Welcome back to today's video. For today's video, I wanted to film a recreation because A, I haven't done one in a while, and B, I'm all out of ideas. Not really, I have one, one idea left. <laughs> That's it, for the rest of my life, I have one more idea. I have one decent video that I have in mind that I'm gonna film soon, but right now, we're gonna do a recreation. So for today's look, I'm going to recreate a Lauren Gray makeup look. First of all, I have a few things to say. One, she's gorgeous. I am pretty certain that she does her own makeup and I'm like, girl. Two, she has her own YouTube channel, which I know she's filmed makeup tutorials on there before, but I don't believe she's filmed this particular look. I thought I'd recreate it and show you how I would personally get this look. I believe that's it. Without further ado, let's get on into this look. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes and I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Then I'm just going to set that with a little bit of a powder. All right, then for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette. I'm mainly going to stick to this half, obviously, but the other half, mm. So fun fact, I've actually already filmed this look. I've actually already worn this look and I'm redoing it because I don't feel like I did it well enough the first time. So <laughs> here we are. The first thing I'm going to do is mix these two shadows right here and just blend this into my crease. Then I think I'm going to just go in solely with this color. Then I'm just going to go with a bigger brush. I'm not going to pick any product up. I'm just going to go over these edges and blend it in. All right, then I'm going to take just a little bit of this one right here and deepen up the outer corners a little bit. And now I'm just going back in with that gray eyeshadow to blend everything in. All right, then I can't really tell if she has anything on her lid, but what I'm going to do is mix these two colors and just put a little bit on my eyelid. Now what I'm going to do is do this eyeliner. I don't want to. Fun fact about me, I don't like doing eyeliner. It's not my greatest skill in life, but we're going to do it because it's part of the look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film me putting eyeliner on, but I'm not talking through it, girl. I'm focused. If you want to learn how to do eyeliner, go watch someone else's video. But what I'm going to do is do this eyeliner and put some lashes on, and then I'll move on to the face. Okay, so the lashes and the liner, they're on. Are they perfect? No, but I'm good with it. For the eyeliner, I use the Wet n Wild Cream Eyeliner. And the lashes, I'm not sure where they're from, but I know that they're affordable and you can find them pretty much anywhere. I'm gonna move on to the face now. For my foundation, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution and then the Laura Mercier Candle Glow. I'm gonna mix them together and then blend it in. All right, then I'm gonna conceal my under eyes with the same concealer I used earlier. Then to set that, I'm going to use the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. Then I'm going to use that powder to lightly set the rest of my face. Surprisingly, her bronzer looks pretty cool toned, so I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette. And I think I'm going to mainly use this shade, which is, hello, my favorite shade. And I'm just going to use this to bronze up my face. Then for blush, it looks like she has barely any on, but I am going to put this one on from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to put a little on because like I said, it doesn't look like she had much on. All right, now I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Flash Palette. Then I'm going to take this first shade and I'm going to use it to highlight my inner corners as well as my brow bone. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of lower lash line shadow. I'm basically going to take the first two shades that I use and just blend a little on my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of mascara and I'm going to put it on my upper lashes as well as my lower lashes. Dude, I almost forgot about my brows. That would have been tragic. I mean, there's no way I would have ended the video without doing them, but whoa. All right, so for my brows, nothing new. I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil and just fill them in. All right, it's just onto this lip and we are done. I don't know. I didn't do this lip right the first time and I don't think I'm gonna do it right this time. <laughs> it's very difficult to recreate. And I'm pretty certain that she's got like that Fenty lip gloss on that everyone loves and I don't own and that's great. So this is the Becca Ultimate Lip Definer Lip Pencil in Blissful. I'm gonna use this to lightly line my lips. Then I'm gonna try to put Maybelline Baddest Beige over top. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe Lip Gloss in Frosé. I just don't feel like that's right. I'm gonna put a little of this Kylie Gloss over top it's in Coco something. Coco. Coco. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call it quit. I'm gonna fix my hair real quick and then I'll be right back. 
All right, here obviously is the finished makeup look. I personally really like it, and I think it actually turned out pretty accurate. I mean, I'd hope for doing it two times, you know? I could probably do it a hundred times and I still wouldn't get it. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I always like to leave a little disclaimer here at the end. This is just a makeup look. It is just a recreation. Please try not to get the wrong idea like I'm trying to look like them or anything like that. It's just a makeup look that I've seen someone wear. I like it and I like to show you how you can possibly recreate it with the stuff that I showed you. I just like to leave that little disclaimer you can only be you and they can only be them so don't you know try to be someone else because you're great the way you are so anyway that is it thank you so much for watching and i really hope to see you in my next video